Hi everybody, how are you today? I hope you're all okay. It's a lovely bright sunny day here in England but it's bitterly cold and they're saying that we're going to get some snow but I don't know whether it will come this far east but we'll have to wait and see. I expect you're wondering where all my babies have gone. You're looking at the head of the bed but all you can see is little Mary Ann. So where are the babies? Well, I had a little change round. And if I just pan you round a little bit, you will see that my babies are now sitting. Just move you back a little bit. They're sitting along the side of the bed rather than at the top of the bed. And I bought them a new covering for their cushion. And I can't sew, so it's just stuck on with those double-sided sticky pads. But it's got different coloured balloons in lemon, yellow, blue, green, uh, stripy ones. And it's got little bees on it. And I thought it was really nice. And I think that's going to be much nicer to film with them in that position. What do you think? We haven't got the light of the window which seems to wash everything out so I thought it would be nice to do that. So there they all are. They're all enjoying their new position sitting against the wall and I think it looks really nice and they all look happy there don't they? Joseph is still in his lovely outfit that Auntie Susan sent him and little Jessica's got a little dress on that Auntie Sue sent her. Cheeky there has still got his little cheeky outfit on and Ginny has got her outfit from Auntie Sue and little Sophie she's got an outfit that um, I got last year and today I'm going to have a chat to you and I'm going to change little little Jessica come on little darling let's get you up let's get you up come on darling come on goodness oh she's so goodness She's so gorgeous. Yes, she is. Oh, she's a bit chilly in this summer dress. So I'll pop her down. There you go, darling. There she is. And I'll move you around so you can see her. There she is. There's my Jessica. I'm hoping that's okay for you. Let me just, just check the lighting in here. Yes, I think you can see her fine. I've still got my blue blanket on for Autism Month. And we're going to change her. I've got this actually from Sparkle Dummy Clips, who's on Instagram. I've got this lovely dummy clip for her with her name on in pinks and greens and uh, lilac. And I think it's really pretty. I'll take that off you, darling. And I'll show you what I'm going to change her into today. I bought this lovely Peter Rabbit outfit which is a little white dress with all the very pale pink Peter Rabbits and their mummy and there's kittens and all sorts on there and it's got little flared sleeves just a little bit of, like I think they're called cap sleeves and a little round neck and a lovely deep pink across the front of it it's got a nice little petticoat underneath it and a pair of panties to put on and it's also got this little pink bolero that's got a lovely pattern on it a little cardigan to go over the top of it and because it's still so cold I'm going to put her on some pink tights and I also bought some little Jemima Puddle Duck shoes for her and these are in a pale pink so I think they're going to go nicely with that so that's what I'm going to change her into I'm going to have a little chat with you all and I'll keep checking that you're all okay for the lighting in here you always get kind of a shadow on this side of the face from the window so I might try a different position next time but we'll see how we go just get this off the hanger as I said, we're expecting snow, but we don't know how far east it's going to come. But that wind out there is very cold today. 
very cold so I'm not going out today we're going to stay in here aren't we Jessica right that's got your little dress and everything off so let's take your little socks off darling and we've got a long weekend here in England this weekend there you go darling and it's because it's May Day on Monday come on sweet girl Mwah. she's beautiful isn't she it's May Day and in May Day there's all sorts of things happen in England and where I live all over the weekend it's um an eel festival eels that live in the rivers and the sea they live in the sea as well don't they eels I think their babies are called albers and that was a big thing around here on the fens where I live many years ago um, they used to harvest them and sell them a lot of people like to eat them I've never tried them myself Let's just check your nappy darling oh it's got a bit got a bit messy hasn't it what have you been doing Jessica have you been wriggling about I don't know how these babies always manage to get their nappies in such a state I really don't uh yeah so and we have this big festival every year which is all about the eels and there's all daft things go on the, in the river boat races and all sorts of daft things you know people chucking each other in the river and they have like stalls and they have uh, things cakes with eels in and chocolate with eels in and fudges with eels in I love your little toes I love your little toes I love everything about this girl yes I do yeah so it's quite a big a big thing here in England this um well where I live this um festival but um because it attracts so many people I don't get down to see it really last year my son went down and came back and reported and he said Oh, you would never have got past, you know, got round with your scooter, Mum. You, there's so many people because there's a lot of tourists and everything. Up your bottom, darling. Let's get your little bottom up. I don't think we need to put your nappy cover on because you've got some little tights. We we'll keep that, but I think she needs the extra warmth, don't you? Because it's chilly. Are you cold? She's a cold little girl, aren't you? We we'll get your dress on just check your cedar all right yeah I think you are let's just check it yeah I'll try and go the other direction next time I think we'll see how we go let's get a little dress on so yeah it gets very busy down there so I lived here 10 years and I've never actually been down to the festival myself but um the trouble when you're disabled is you know my husband and my son worry about people knocking me over or you know me bumping in into anybody on the scooter when it's so crowded so it makes life a little bit difficult doesn't it Jessica mummy doesn't get to see things which is a shame but never mind I think this little dress is going to fit her really nicely it's zero to one month and I got this from mother care Yeah, so my son's got the day off and my other son's got the day off on Monday. No work for anybody. But I expect he'll be busy in his study, won't he, Jessica? He will be busy. Mwah! He will. There we go. Oh, that's very pretty. That fits her lovely, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous on her. Let's put your little bolero on. Let's just pull your tights up a bit got Nora Batty tights on you've got Nora Batty tights on sweetheart haven't you all wrinkled let's get your little cardigan on it'll give you a little bit of warmth my heated actually came on last night and this morning because it's so cold 
There you go, sweetie. That looks really nice. And I remember May Day when I was a little girl at school. They used to pick a May Queen. Of course, I was never picked for that because... <coughs> excuse me. I was an okay-looking little girl, but I wasn't like May Queen material. And they used to dress her up in a really pretty dress and she used to sit on a throne and she had uh, a crown of fresh flowers on her head and we all used to dance around the maypole which is a wooden pole with loads of strings of different coloured ribbons on it oh mummy didn't get you a headband or anything did she we'll have to find one um so little different strings of ribbons and we used to hold on to the string at uh, the ribbons and dance round um, to music and it was lovely I really enjoyed doing that um, and it used to be good fun I don't know if they still do that I mean I think May Day is a celebration of spring but I could be wrong right Jessica mummy needs a nice headband for you in a nice pink I do believe we've got some lovely ones in here. I think we've got a big one, haven't we? Oh, yeah, we've got an absolutely beautiful pink one. We've got this lovely pale pink one with silver pearls and that in it. I don't know if it's going to be too big. Oh, no, that's perfect. That's perfect, isn't it, darling? Yes. Oh, she looks precious, don't you? Mwah! She looks absolutely precious in that. I love that on her. I have got smaller um, pink bands, but I think that looks really nice, actually, with a big flower on it. Yeah, so that's kind of my memories of May Day when I was a little girl, having the pole to dance around. I expect a few of you have done that, especially if you're living in England I know they do it all over the world actually don't they because I remember when we lived in Germany they used to do it so it's not just an English thing I don't think there she is what do you think of my girl let me move you around a little bit so you can see her there she is it's my little sweet Jessica and she's got her little shoes on which are my a puddle duck on and she's got her Nora Batty tights on. And that's a very pretty little dress. I love this, this pale pink pattern on things. It's very old and kind of traditional vintage looking, isn't it? I think that looks really nice on her. Hope you agree. There she is. My little precious girl. You could still put your dummy clip on there, couldn't we? I haven't actually got a dummy on here. Should we put your dummy clip back on? Because that's all pink and green. I think it'll go quite nice with it, won't it? Let's put it on your cardigan. There you go. And I'll find her a dummy out. There you go, sweetheart. She's mummy's little precious girl. Yes, she is. Mwah. She's such a sweet little thing, aren't you? Yes, you are. We'll have to get your sister Marianne changed this week, won't we? Because we haven't changed her yet, and she's still in that very pretty... I might show you Marianne, actually, because she's in a very pretty little outfit. Let's just pick her up. There you go, darling. She's gorgeous. Let me put you down here. There you go. There she is. I'll just get Mary Ann out here. Come on, sweet baby. Come on, sweet baby. Oh, she's holding on to her dump, her rabbit. Bless her. There she is. She's in this very pretty. Just move you forward a little bit. She's in this very pretty little white outfit that Auntie Sue sent her. Let's have your rabbit. She wants to keep it. It's a little white dress with all beautiful embroidery along the bottom of flowers and a little frill. It's got a little nappy cover, a little Peter Pan collar and little puffy sleeves. And it's got a little hat that goes with it, but the hat was too big. 
So I put a headband round it with a pink flower on it. And then she's got a pink swell next dummy with a little rabbit on it that fits right into her mouth beautifully. And she's got some little pink socks on just to have a little bit of a pink accent. And of course, she's got a little, a little rabbit that her mummy Suzanne sent her in Australia. So I will change her. Um, she will be the next one I change. So come on, sweetheart. Mwah. She's beautiful. Let's pop you back in. There you go. Let's wrap you up in your blanket. There you go, because it's quite chilly, isn't it? And you're right by the window now. There you go. Let's get my little Jessica back. Come on, sweet girl. You're so cute. Yes, you are. She's so cute. Yeah. So there's my Jessica back again. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching me change her today. And I hope you like the way that I've changed my nursery round. I think it looks really good. I'm very pleased with it. And there's my little girl, bless her heart. She looks beautiful, doesn't she, in that little outfit? I do love Peter Rabbit. Yeah, so you'll take care and I'll speak to you again soon. And she's going to give you a big kiss. Mwah. Big kiss to Mummy Suzanne in Australia. Mwah. And a big kiss to everybody else. She loves you, don't you, Jessica? Yes, she does. And I love you too. Mwah. Love you, ladies.